Well, it is a real joy for me to be here with Debbie, and we're out at Cornell Farm. And Deb, today we're going to discuss about, you know, this really is, we're, we're closing in on our last opportunity this to get some it. beautiful combo pots for the rest of the winter. That's right. So give us some ideas about what to do. Okay. Well, we're on the edge of number one holiday, Thanksgiving. <laughs> and so, you know, maybe by the front door, maybe this is indoors on a side table, but you've got a gorgeous basket that you could put a lot of different kinds of things in. We've got a cyclamen, a euphorbia, and a fern put together, but you could even put paper whites or a poinsettia or anything. You could change it in and out. Well, and what I love about this, a couple of things. First of all, this type of thing to me is really quite elegant as well. Oh, yeah. It's not just country looking. Absolutely. But then you've got these, you can take the pots out if you keep them in the mm -hmm. pots and it's so much yeah. easier to adjust them. Absolutely. It's And it's just, it's a Northwest forest look. Yeah. It's very native to our region. Yeah, I it's think. charming. Now I see a lot of bulbs. Yes, too. yes. We do a lot with paper whites this time of year. It's, they're not just for indoors. I really want to encourage people, put these in your pots outdoors. Actually plant them in the ground in the soil of your containers because they will come up very slowly, open very slowly, and hold their flowers for much longer than indoors. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And then, you know, even if you want to keep them inside, you could still start them outside and that would adjust yes, how quick absolutely. they grow that's for right. the season. They stay shorter in the cooler temperature. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got some other ideas, so why don't we walk yeah. over here and take okay. a look at those. Perfect. Okay, Debbie, now we're out here and yes. the stuff that we just looked at really was for like a protected patio type yes, thing. Yes, undercover, right. These are completely mm -hmm. hardy. That's right. This will take any weather. Um, you've got this gorgeous dwarf uh, camisiparis and a little dwarf hebe. Makinii, I believe, and then we've got the uh, Galtheria procumbens or wintergreen, and then the native Kanikanik. Well, you know, and where's my color sense would tell me that this blue and this green really kind of clash, and uh -huh. yet the minute I saw this, mm -hmm. I fell in love with it. Why yeah. does this work here? I believe it has something to do with the kind of the purplish touches that are coming out yeah. in the winter green that just kind of pulls it all together. It really does pull it all together. And then yeah. let's talk a little bit more too about what other types of plants would work for an outdoor container? Oh my gosh, well, <laughs> uh, there's so many, but helibores are yes. fabulous. They're gonna bloom through the winter. There's different timings for different varieties, but there's camellias, um, there's all kinds of other greens that will look really good yeah. with those accents, including the cyclamen. And you know, there is no shame. This doesn't have to be, if you were to do this, it doesn't have to stay forever. You can actually redo right. it even with these Absolutely. bigger plants. Yeah, and that's my motto. Every season I'm pulling things in and out, yeah. in and out. Nice. Now you've um, you've got a <laughs> you've got a new thing coming up soon about oh. about Christmas, right? It's not yeah. Black Friday. It's oh Green Friday. <laughs> yes. So what's going on then? Okay, instead of going to the mall, how about come to a greenhouse? Yeah. And enjoy a, a wreath making class with some family and friends. Make a memory. And how about make a little terrarium? We have a little mini micro environment terrarium Fun. thing going on. So. Well, you know, if, if, that's a great time to come out to a Cornell Farm. And then also, if you have questions about your own containers, you want to pick one up that's already completed or put one together yourself, they are certainly here to help you. For more information, you go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to Cornell Farm we uh, website. Debbie, it is always a pleasure. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, William.